Uh, good morning, Pastor Ray here with The Daily Bread. God is good. It is Tuesday, and so hope all is well. We're working through the book of Acts. Today, the book of Acts, we're in uh, chapter 16, and Timothy comes into the picture, right? So we have First and Second Timothy. Those are written to this Timothy. And so uh, let's read it and see what we can learn. Interesting scripture here. And uh, we want to get into it. Amen. Uh, chapter 16, verses 1 through 5. Then he came to Derby, this is Paul, uh, and Lystra. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed, but his father was Greek. It's important to note. He was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in the, that region. For they all knew that his father was Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered to them the decrees to keep, which were determined by the apostles and elders at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily. All right, so we'll work through this. So Paul is continuing his journey. Him and Silas are there. Right, yesterday, they, uh, Paul and Barnabas had split. And so now, uh, Paul is there and Silas and so they, they're going to pick up Timothy because Paul was looking for helpers, right? That's like a pastor, always looking for helpers, someone who will help, but it's not just, you know, but in Paul's thing it was, hey, there's certain qualifications here that are necessary, right? And so what does it say? It says that he was well spoken of. So people knew about him. They knew about his character. Right? See, it's not what we think about ourselves, because we usually think we're wonderful. It's what other people think. It's the report about us. That's the real test. That's the real test. And, and, and so, you know, in order for that to happen, well, there has to be church. There has to be getting around each other. And, and you know, well, you know, you don't just get to come, put on the show, and then go. Uh, it's 24-7. It's, 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 you know, who you are that is seen. So Paul chooses him because he has character. Now, here's the troubling part, is that Paul circumcised him. It's like, well, what's going on here, Paul? Uh, we were just, we, we even just have the letter talking about we don't have to be troubled with this. Well, here's the issue. Paul's method of going and preaching the gospel was to go into the synagogues and to preach to the Jews first. He loved his Jewish brethren. He even says, I wish that I was accursed and that my brethren could be saved. That's how his heart was for them. Well, Paul's method to get into the synagogue uh, would be prohibited and actually forbidden if he had this uncircumcised Greek. So, to avoid that and to be able to further the gospel, he does this. He circumcises him. The more interesting part is that Timothy allows this to happen oh my goodness the willingness to submit to authority i'm sure he's like you know paul i don't understand all that's happening but man you know i if, if this will help i guess we'll do this what about us today hmm? oh we we fight right we we push against anything right any type of leadership any type of correction any type of authority we push back that's how it is today. Not this guy. Paul, if this will help, then I'll do it. My goodness, what a lesson for us in humility, right? If this will further the gospel, that's what I'll do. It, it goes with Paul's talk, right? Paul says, you know, for the Jews, I became a Jew. This is what he's talking about. To the Greeks, I became a Greek. He, he quotes um, literature from different people. He uh, he knows about their backgrounds and different things. When he goes to Rome, he uses his Roman citizenship. Like Paul was just like, his whole point was, how can I get through so that I can preach the gospel? And because of this happened, they went through the cities and the people were encouraged and they were strengthened. And so my question for us today is, is you know what, are we submitted to any authority? Right? You know, can anybody speak into our life? Can anybody tell you anything? without you throwing a fit and throwing a lip. Wow. No, no, no. I'm out of here. I'm leaving the church. Can anybody speak into your life? And I want to encourage you in that today. Let's be humble before people. Let's be humble before God. 
whatever it takes to make the gospel go forward. Amen. And so I want to encourage you in that today. In Jesus' name, amen.